Hello everyone, today I am making a witch clay doll and I will link everything that I use in the description below. I've already made some clay doll heads, I will pop a link in the top corner now so you can see how to make those. I'm using this Necron colour black clay to begin with and some purple pigment powder. I'm going to coat my mould with the purple pigment powder and this mould is a princess dress mould and this is made by Danny Decor and this comes from Necron Australia. Again I will link everything in the description below. So I'm just giving this a good coat inside of the mould and then taking my black clay, I'm conditioning it first. This means making it nice and soft and pliable with my hands and then I'm going to roll it into a ball making sure it's all nice and smooth with no cracks and then pop it into my mould and get rid of any excess clay. Making sure it's pushed neatly in there and I'm going to use this acrylic roller just to roll over and neat in the back. And then pop out my clay and as you can see it's got a gorgeous shimmer on there. I will clean my mould now and then I've already made one arm. I will show you how I did that. So taking a little bit of skin colour, I'm going to push it into the arm mould first at the top and then taking some white PVA glue, I'm just going to gently put a little bit of glue on the arm and then I'm going to attach some black so it gives the appearance that the witch is wearing black gloves to match her dress. So again taking a little bit of black and popping it in the other half of the mould just neatening it and rubbing it to blend them in at the back and then when I pop it out as you can see you've then got this half skin half gloved arm. Taking my pigment powder this time I'm going to paint brush it on and because the arm mould is quite small this just makes it a little bit easier and as you can see it's got a nice shimmer now to match her dress. And now to attach her head to her body, so I'm going to use my white PVA glue for this again. But first of all, I'm going to use the pin that's in her head to make the hole in her body. So I'm just going to make sure it's in line and make that hole and then apply my PVA glue and then stick it back in that hole. So we've got her head now and her body joined. And I'm just going to wipe the back of this mould so I can use that as a base to lay her on whilst we attach her arms, just bending the arms slightly because she's going to be holding a broomstick and then I'm using the white glue now to attach these to her body. It's always handy to prep a few heads to begin with because that way they have a chance to dry out so when it comes to making the hair it's a lot easier to apply the clay hair onto a dry head. So now we've got her arms attached, we're going to make her broom now, which she's going to be holding. So I took some white Necron clay and some caramel coloured pigment, as you can see it's all over my hands. And as I was mixing it into the white clay, I noticed it made like a wood effect, as you can see. So I'm going to not mix it in completely and leave that sort of wood effect. So I'm just rolling the clay to make the stick of the broom. And then I've got this yellowy colour, it's mostly yellow pigment with a slight bit of caramel added to make the sort of straw look for the base of the broom. And I'm going to use my hair mould. So I'm just going to use this sort of fringe mould here and make it sort of pointed at the top and wider at the bottom so it's like a broom shape. And with the lines in the hair mould that will make it sort of look like a broom. And I'm also going to put some lines on the back side as well. Just push it back into the mould to get more of them lines on there. And then using this silicone tool I'm just going to make more of a rough bottom. And then taking the handle of the broom I'm going to attach my base with some PVA white glue and just kind of wrap that around bottom of that broom handle and I'm going to take another piece of the yellowy straw coloured clay and roll it out and then flatten it slightly. So I'm using this acrylic plate now to flatten this out 
And again, I'm just going to use this silicone tool to make some sort of lines in it for a textured sort of look. And I'm going to use this to wrap around the top where the broom meets the handle. And that will just finish that off nicely. And now I'm going to take some scissors to cut in some sort of slits in the bottom. I did some slits higher than others, so a couple of short slits, a couple of higher slits. And I did that all the way across the bottom of the broom just to give it that real sort of rough broomstick look. And now we're going to attach it to the clay doll. So I'm just going to gently lift her hand and using my white PVA glue, attaching it to the back of the broom. I'm going to lay it across her body so it lays over one hand and under the other so it looks like she's holding on to it. And then I'm just going to place a little bit of glue under that hand and on top of this one where that touches the handle of the broomstick. And this is what she looks like. And now we're ready to add her hair. So using my Danny Decor hair mould, I'm just going to give it a wipe with a baby wipe, make sure there's no dust. I'm using my black clay, again this time with no pigment. I've conditioned it and rolled it into a ball and pushing it into my mould. You can use baby oil or you can use coconut oil in your mould if you want, but this clay isn't too sticky luckily and it does pop out quite easily, so I'm not going to worry about that today. So I'm just smoothing the back and then when I pop it out, as you can see, I've got the lines on there to resemble the hair. So this will be facing the front. I'm going to just flatten this top bit a little bit just to make a sort of flattened area where her head will lay on there. Applying my white PVA glue. And then I'm going to pick up my clay doll and lay her on the hair so it comes out to the side. And then I'm going to curl the end out slightly and then push the rest of the hair around her head to frame the top of her head and then I'm going to take some more of the black clay and this time I'm going to roll it into a long hair strand I'm not going to bother using the mold this time and then I'm making one end slightly thinner for the bottom of the hair so it tapers down to the thinner end and then I'm just going to break it off to the length that I need and then apply it to her head again using PVA glue giving the hair a little bit of a wave. You can apply it so it's straight or wave, it's completely up to you. And now I'm going to do a second piece and apply that over the top, again giving it a wave. I'm breaking it off where I need it. And then just curl it round at the bottom and frame her face. And then I'm just going to apply a shorter piece on the other side. But because her hair goes round to the back, I'm going to sort of stick it on. And then I'm going to tuck it round the back of her head. And I'm just going to use a tool just to stick it all down flat at the top because we are going to be adding a witch's hat. Now to make the witch's hat, again using the plain black clay, conditioning it and rolling it into a ball and then I'm going to try and make a pointed end. We're aiming for sort of a cone hat shape. So once I've got that sort of pointed top, I'm now going to slice this in half lengthways because obviously we need the flat back because we're making a flat back doll for a hair bow. And then I've just trimmed off the bottom now to make it flat at the bottom. So we've, we have now got this sort of triangular sort of half cone shape. Just checking it for size. And then I'm going to use a tool to mark some crinkles in the hat, just to give it sort of a, a extra detailing. And I'm happy with that now. So now I'm going to make the base of the hat. So using the other half, I'm going to roll it into a ball and then using my acrylic plate, I'm going to flatten it down to make a circle. It's around sort of two millimeters thick. And then using the white PVA glue, we can attach this top part of the hat to the middle of this circle. 
And then I'm going to give the bottom of the hat sort of a wavy look. But first I'm going to cut off the back of this circle because we don't need it to go all the way around because we've got that flat back. So I'm just using my fingers to make this sort of base of her hat go sort of up and down. So it looks like a sort of a floppy witch's hat. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to use my knuckle to make the bottom a little bit more sort of indented, ready to sit on her head. Using my white PVA glue, I'm going to pop some on the top of her head and then sit that on the top. And then I'm going to take a tool now just to get them waves in there a little bit better. Now it's on her head, I can see more how it's sitting. So I can just use this tool now just to get this to all sit perfectly how I want it to look. And then smoothing it down at the back and blending it in. And now we're ready to add the purple pigment. So taking the purple pigment that we used at the start on her dress and her gloves, I'm going to paint this on her hat now and that will then all match her dress. I've coloured a piece of clay now in a lilac colour and I'm making a strip and flattening it with my acrylic plate and this is going to be for the base of her hat. So I'm going to attach this again using PVA glue just along that strip and wrapping it around the very base of her hat, breaking it off at the edge and I'm just going to apply a little bit more glue at those ends to make sure it stays stuck down on her hat. And then I'm just using this tool to push it in and level it out around her hat. And I'm going to make a bow with the rest of this lilac clay. So using my bow mould, I'm going to pop the clay into this little bow here. Again, I will link everything that I've used in the description below. And I'm going to attach the cute little bow to the left side of her hat using my white PVA glue and that just finishes off her hat beautifully. And then I've got this little wheel here with different shaped gems in. I will try and link some of these in the description below if not similar, if I can find some. I'm using these little Claire stars and I'm using my Gorilla Super Glue Gel to attach these stars. I'm also going to pop a few on her dress as well so they match her hair bow. And here is my finished clay witch. If you've got any questions, pop them into the comments below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you press the bell button, that will turn on notifications. I'll see you soon. Bye.